Bonjour, my name is Scott, and I'm going to give you a house tour of our Maison de Maitre, which is an eight-bedroom kind of mansion slash manor house that's in a, the outside of a, uh, a village in the south of France. We've been here for three years. We have four cats. If you want to find anything more about me, I've got a video that I can post at the back that give you more information about me, what I did before, and uh, why we chose here. So let's get inside and take a look at the house. So this is the entranceway to the house. We have sort of a vestibule here um, with some kind of interesting stained glass windows. We think they're from the 60s. Not really keeping with the house. So we're not sure if we're going to keep them or not. Which we think is around 1849, 1850. Um, we may use the individual panes of glass, frame them or do some sort of art or something with them later. Uh, but our plan is to replace the glass with their clear or some sort of patterned or frosted and then put some metal ironwork on the front which is kind of in keeping with what they would have had at this time. Uh, we don't think the doors are original but we're going to keep them because they're big and and they're actually in fairly good shape on the inside. The outside needs a lot of repairs but we're planning on painting them anyways. So one of the things we really liked about this house were these doors here. Um, we think they're original um, they're in really quite good shape. They just need a good painting and cleaning up a bit. So yeah, this is our hallway. It's pretty big. Um, we're planning to do a lot of woodwork on the sides, have two chandeliers, uh, do a lot of plaster work on the ceiling with like ceiling roses and patterns around the, 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 the edges of the, um, the ceiling, kind of having a bit of fun with it. Um, we're going to be removing two lights on the side here and putting them on the top floor. There's a good spot for it up there where we're going to make a library and I'll show you where that is later. One of the things I really liked about this house was the floor. Um, we think they're original tiles. Uh, they've got to be really uh, worked on. We've got to remove, you know, 100 years of wax and grime and stuff like that. But at this point, we're just ignoring it. So when we get the walls done and we get all the woodwork we want to get up and we get the ceiling roses in, we get chandeliers hung in the hallway here, we're going to um, work on the floors and, and try to get them back to like a really nice quality. The hallway width is about something like three meters I think. And we just got a couch here that was in a bedroom at our old house. We have a pellet stove that we don't use anymore because when we plugged it in below the fuses and kind of sparked. Um, we're just going to replace that eventually. Um, we have a stairwell here that goes up to the other floors in the house. There's a total of three floors including this one and we also have a pigeonary which is uh, where they used to keep breed pigeons or for either for messages or for eating, we're never too sure. But I have a video, which I'll add to this video at the end in the description of, that kind of goes into what I found up there. All right, the next room we're gonna take a look at is a living room. So welcome to our living room. This is one of the reasons why we bought this place. Um, we absolutely love the fireplace. So with the detailed carvings, there's a little rose in here, little uh, doodads and things. It uh, needs a good restoration. I'm gonna clean up all this um, brass that's on the fireplace yeah, give it all a really super good clean like as in polish it and get it shiny again and try to dig out all this yellow that's probably just like stains from smoking over the generations or whatnot this floor also we're not sure is original there's a kind of a marble down here like a white marble it looks very 60s to us uh, we think this um fireplace place hearth is probably original at the bottom uh, some of the local colors of stone are what this is uh, which is this red marble. But yeah, we're not too sure what we want to do with this floor in here, whether we're going to keep it or not, because we think it's been replaced at some point. Um, the hallway is original. The dining room, which I'll show you next, is original. And it's pretty, pretty cool. Needs a lot of work to restore it, but uh, it'll be great. So all the furniture in here, just temporary. It was just what we had in our old house. Uh, we're going to go much more elegant, grand. So we're going to do a lot of antiques. We'll have a great big mirror, uh, plaster panels all along here, very uh, large ceiling rows and a large chandelier in the center and all sorts of plaster work on the edges, probably with little bits of gold. And we're going to try to make it a really amazing, not like Versailles, not nothing too crazy, but just really cool room that, you know, we can have fun with and make it super fancy. This room is just not anything like what we're going to do with it. One of the reasons why we haven't been showing anything because it's just been, this is how we've been living for three years is just old furniture, uh, TV that doesn't fit. I just really didn't have a wall in here because it's not going to stay in here. We're going to have a den or a uh, sunroom that's going to have the TV in it. I'm not planning to do it like this. So, um, but yeah, it's got two big, two big windows 
Uh, the curtains are obviously not going to be what we're going to keep. On this side, we have the, the living room, which is, this is the front of the house. The living room is on this side, and then on this side is the dining room. We're actually using it right now for kind of a kitchen because the actual kitchen is in pretty bad shape, as you'll see shortly. We have some old furniture that we're going to be getting rid of. We have a really nice fireplace here with little feet on it. Little, I guess, furry legs or something. I don't know, a griffin or something. I'm not sure what we would call it. But this will be uh, part of the dining room. Uh, we really love the floors in here. Um, so what it looks like is the original owners for this place were in charge of a vineyard. So we have little uh, grapevines that are running along in tiles around, which we think are original. And there's sort of a crest in the center. Uh, this floor needs a lot of work, but we should be able to restore it so it looks fantastic. Um, currently, uh, it's just a whole lot of mess of stuff. We've got cat food, because we've, we've got four cats, we've got nowhere else really to put everything. We've got no stove in this house. We have microwaves. We have like a little teeny toaster oven. We have a hob or like a hot plate thing. We have no, we have no uh, countertops. We have a sink in the other room, um, in the actual kitchen that we use with the runner back and forth. Um, there's a doorway here beside the stove here, or beside the fridge here, that leads into the kitchen. So eventually you'll be able to come through here with uh, stuff from when you're cooking it into, into your dining room. But for now, we're just all in here. We're living out of this room, which is, it's been challenging when, you know, we normally like to cook things and it's quite difficult when you're using microwaves and stuff. I think in the next year or so we'll be doing the kitchen, hopefully. We have a pantry back here, which I guess will be for linen eventually or something, or dishes when we ever get a dining room. It's about, I don't know, three feet deep. Uh, we plan to do on here is to have a huge mirror here, um, probably a red room. We're not sure what we're going to do with it. Lots of um, uh, plaster work on the lower level, probably like, or, or wooden uh, paneling in here. We're going to do really fancy uh, ceiling rows with patterns of plaster in the ceiling like I don't know what you're going to do yet but that's something I'm going to try to figure out what to do with one of my projects is what are we going to do in here are we going to do some sort of vine pattern grapes maybe because keeping with the room uh, we do some gold leaf in here this room is also about five meters by I think the actual width width of this room is larger than it is this way if I recall um, yeah so we're looking forward to getting it cleaned up and uh actually having people over to be use it because right now we don't do that. So next let's go check out the kitchen and it's pretty grim but uh, yeah let's go. So this is the back of the house. Uh, this way is towards the kitchen and this way is towards the den and the sunroom. I think that's what we're going to call it. And then my wife Sam has a workshop which is also at the end there. Uh, there is one room that's original to the house and there's an extension that we think went on in the 60s. We're not sure. Let's go take a look at the uh, kitchen. So welcome to our, what I would call a bit of a disaster of a kitchen. Um, when we first moved in here, um, we noticed that the ceiling, which is also the floor of our master bedroom, was down by about this much. So you, you basically felt like you're walking downhill as you walked across the bedroom floor. So it's not that it's going to structurally collapse or anything like that, but what we wanted to do is get it up as much as we could. So I've started, and I had to kind of halt, because there were other priorities at this point. Um, but I basically started scissoring on with uh, construction adhesive and bolts and getting the floor joists to be a little more rigid and, and jacked up. So I've done about a third of it, but what I'm going to be also doing is doing noggins, which are kind of like the uh, supports this way as, out as well. Uh, when we first moved in, I also was exploring the fireplace because I was wondering, because this is kind of an old house, and if you look at this, and you look at this metalwork and this kind of stucco stuff, it looks very 60s to me. And this, these wings, whoever they are, to keep the, the the draft going up, and this curve that doesn't look very original to us. So what I was thinking is maybe there would be a an original old kind of stone fireplace behind. But everywhere I've kind of picked at and looked at, which which is what all this is, to try to find for something on there, I don't think so. There's nothing that we found. So I think at some point they removed the old one and they rebuilt it. Um, this house was, we think, completely redone in the 60s. That's why we don't have a lot of ceiling roses. We don't have the original um, covings around the ceilings. It probably would have been a lot more grand back in the day, um, looking at some of the other houses in this area, in this in the next couple villages. Uh, we also think that this place hasn't been touched since the 60s. What I'm going to do is take this, 
kind of the idea with this would work and I'm going to frame this all. I'm going to probably remove the wings, uh, maybe keep the brick and this, uh, this, these metal, um, parts of the fireplace and then wood all the way around and then make it a little more elegant, I guess. Now this floor, um, which I've taken a little section up over here and I've basically had to cut uh, about a half a square meter out and dug down around a foot and a half. So about this much by this much and then down by the same amount um, in order to get the drainage, the sewer pipe from the back garden, which is what I've been doing a lot of work on over the last three years, is getting the slope of the garden, uh, getting all the irrigation in and that kind of thing and getting the plumbing from the outside inside better. Uh, it used to just run on the outside of the house, uh, but it now comes into here. So what I'm going to be doing is checking up all these tiles. Uh, the, the little section I took, out, took out before came out really easily. So what I'm, because all there is is a tile, like a kind of a handmade tile. And then there's about that much of like a lime mortar underneath it. And that's just sitting on dirt, probably with sand originally, but there, there's no concrete uh, underneath it, nothing. So it's just like really uneven in here. So I'm going to dig down six inches, maybe a foot, something like that. Put a, a, a layer of insulation, plastic, and then pour a concrete base, probably 15 centimeters, something like that, which is like six inches, something like that. Um, and then put these same tiles back down. Also in this room, what we want to do is we're going to be putting um, a kind of a large, um, kind of a French style uh, stove in here. So this will be all this with like a, a heat vent, uh, extractor fan up here. This will kind of be the, the, the stove area. We'll have the fridge over here. We'll have cupboards, lower cupboards. We're going to do, most French people don't and Europeans don't have the upper cupboards but because we want the storage for pots and, and, and things like that. We're going to have to a certain height. We're going to have cupboards up to here as well, all the way around. And then on this wall over here, we're going to have a big pantry. And then right in the center here, we're going to have a island uh, with stools on this side. And then you basically be able to cook in this area here, kind of your L shape that you want. You got your stove, you got your fridge, and then you got your sink here. So this will kind of be the cooking end or the cooking area. And yeah, we have dishwasher and um, probably have one of those pot things, you know, to fill your pots with hot water for the stove over there. And yeah, it'll be, I think it'd be really good. Uh, it's a good size kitchen. I think it's like five meters by five meters, approximately. Most of these rooms are, it's quite big. And uh, we have an original light from the place. And uh, it's really amazing that we're going to restore. Uh, we're also going to do a bunch of um, LED lights in the ceilings and have two circuits. So we can either put the, the fancy kind of, um, what do you call it, chandelier. It's not really a chandelier, but it's it's a style of light that people had in the kitchens back then. Uh, it was originally would have been like either candles or gas or something like that. And it's been kind of retrofitted to have lights in it. So we're going to use that. Lots of polishing on it. It's bronze, I think. So we're going to try to shine it up and make it look good. Uh, but yeah, basically that's the plan for this room. So it's going to be a lot of work, which is kind of why we stopped it as well, because we need to fix the floor up. Uh, we had to get the plumbing and the stuff outside uh, done before we tackled as big a project as this. Another really cool thing we have is that in this corner over here, we, we were a bit on the fence of what we wanted to do, but we have a sink over there that's one piece that's a huge marble sink. It's got to be, you know, it's huge, that big. And we're going to keep that. And because we have a lot of cats, we're probably going to use that kind of the cat area. We're going to have like cupboards full of cat food and their water bowls and food bowls in there because the ceiling is quite low. You kind of bang your head on there and I don't want to remove this whole thing and raise it. This whole, not quite a canopy, but I don't know you would call it, but this buttress or whatever that is. I don't want to raise stuff and make a lot more work for myself. That'll just kind of be a sink that we don't use very often. But yeah, the cat water can go in there and we don't want to lose something as amazing as that huge big sink. We're done with the kitchen. Let's go and check out the den and the sunroom. Well, now that you've seen the mess, it's the kitchen. Um, let's go take a look at the den and uh, the sunroom and what we're going to do in this area. It's probably one of the biggest transformations. So we're hoping, really hoping we can save this floor. So there's a concrete layer that's been done because when we came in, there, it, was, it looked like there had been a carpet on here, probably a shag carpet from the 60s or something like that. And they basically just poured a leveling compound, which is some sort of cement because it's so rough in here. What we'd like to do is dig down about six inches or a foot, uh, put some insulation down, put down a proper uh, base of concrete, and then try to either sand these tiles down or use a concrete sort of acid to see if we can remove this stuff. If we can't, 
we'll give, you know, it's not the end of the world, but we're going to definitely give it a try to try to save what originally was in here. Um, the floor right now is so unlevel because we have a tree in the back that the roots had grown under. Same issue we had in the uh, kitchen where the roots went under the ground and they lifted everything. We'll be using it a lot for kind of this be our TV room possibly or just, you know, a couple lazy boy chairs or something like that or a couch that we can relax in. Got a nice one over there that we can uh, look out in the garden too. So this is kind of our chill room. Uh, we're also going to put a couple or a pair of um, French doors here so we can just kind of shut this off a little bit uh, from the extension that's uh, right over here. So this room is what we're calling the sunroom. Um, it's not a huge room, uh, but what we're going to do is take the window that's on the side over here, and we're going to open that up into a series of doors, kind of like French doors that are open up. We're not sure if we're going to have them kind of fold to one side or just have multiple doors to open. Uh, but on the other side of this is where we put the pool in. Um, so it's going to be a nice kind of view. Uh, we're going to have a couple couches running this way, maybe a big screen TV or a projector or something here so that we can kind of, you know, watch TV or watch a football game or whatever from the outside. Um, we're also planning on creating a, um, a bathroom here, not a bathroom, like a powder room. Um, so behind this here, we have a toilet and we're going to have a toilet and a sink. Uh, basically coming somewhere out to about this side. And then on this side of it, what we're planning to do is make a bar that runs along here and then have like a sink and then the you know, wine fridge and a, you know, maybe beer taps or something like that. So this would kind of be a bit of a party area, if you want to call it that. If we have people over, guests over, they can kind of be from in and out of here. There's a little toilet for them. They can go out to the pool, they can come in, we get drinks, we can have a nice time in here. And uh, yeah, the laundry machine's not gonna go there. It's gonna be upstairs eventually on the second, on the next floor up. Uh, we have a little room set for that, which I'll show you later. Also what we have back here is we have uh, a little room that used to be, we think a summer kitchen. Yeah, so in this room here, this is kind of gonna be my wife's um, hobby room or something. If she wants to do arts and crafts or jewelry, or whatever she's gonna do, we're gonna put a sink over here, which we replace the one that we already have. Uh, if she wants to do any blowtorch or welding or stuff like that, we've got a chimney here from what used to be the summer kitchen. Uh, we're gonna make massive alterations in this room other than making it kind of you know, a plaster on the walls and make it a little nicer. Uh, we may add a skylight in here and the same in the other room. We we'll add two skylights in there or what do you call them? V-Lux or roof lights or roof windows and just to kind of get some more light in here. We're also not going to keep this. This is very 60s. We don't think it keeps with the house. We're going to do something more along the lines of this. We replace it with some wooden windows with that kind of style uh, and then my wife will be able to sit here and work and do jewelry stuff and look at the garden. Um, otherwise, yeah, other than fixing the floor, maybe put some tiles in here, making it white, a, uh, adding a bit more light in here with a skylight and uh, plasterboarding or drywalling the ceiling should be easy. But yeah, that's all we're planning to do with here. Uh, this is also a room that we you that the cats use a lot. They go in and out. We've got a cat door there that goes out into a catio, uh, which I'll explain more later. But uh, on why we have to do it, unfortunate. But uh, yeah, let's now go and take a look at the next floor. So this is the first landing we have. Um, there's a landing here and we have some storage in here. We basically you going to use that for, I don't know, putting coats and I don't know why they've got shelves here, but there's coats and things that go in there. It's this whole side, this whole end basically you can be using for suitcases or coats or whatever. So we're going to use that eventually. So yeah, they wallpapered everything and that's what they did in the 60s. I've not removed the wallpaper on this wall all the way up this stairwell because I needed scaffolding, but I've removed about... Uh, 17 100 bags, 17 100 liter bags of wallpaper from this house so far. So yeah, the plan also is to restore these floors. Um, there is some water freezing damage. I don't know if it got too cold and the roof leaked or something like that, but there's some spalling on some of the steps. Um, we're going to polish that up, sand it. If we need to do some sort of um, resurfacing of it and make it, you know, close as we can to fix it, that's fine. It's not a lot of damage, but there's some. Uh, there's also an issue with this floor, whereas all the landings have the support of the whole stairwell on it. So this, this side of the stairwell rests on this landing. So it's over the years, it's kind of sunk down a bit. Not by much, but just by about half an inch to an inch. Uh, so what I'm going to do is reinforce those, jack them up slightly, reinforce them, 
make them flat, and then I'm going to repair all the stonework that's on this. Uh, that's happened on pretty much every floor, so that'll be a, a big project in the future to tackle. But for now, it's just a little low down the list. We get to see some of our cats. That's one of them. There's another one over here. One of those English, one of them French. <laughs> 